guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is corinne i film lifestyle family holistic crunchy mama content so if that's something you're interested in make sure to subscribe you guys just saw a little snippet of our morning today is tuesday my son israel goes to forest school on mondays and tuesdays it is completely outdoors no matter what the weather is you guys saw that it is 10 degrees today absolutely freezing but i promise you Israel is warm. He's warm out there. I have him in three layers of wool, a fourth layer of fleece, and then his outer layers as well. He has two wool mittens on as well as really thick wool socks, and his boots are insulated up to like negative 33 degrees Celsius, something crazy like that. He has a wool scarf on that covers his face, and then a wool hat that covers his ears. So basically, this is the only thing that is showing. <laughs> they also have a covering, and they have an outer outdoor heater and they also make fires on the really freezing cold days so he is going to be totally fine like i said it's only about three and a half hours that he's at school it is a long drive for us to get there it takes about 30 minutes when the roads are clear but more like an hour on days like today where it is 10 degrees and the roads are icy and the neighborhoods are terrible it is worth it though to make the drive for israel because he absolutely loves going to school by the time we get home i put sicily down for a nap pretty much immediately and and then I have about two hours before I have to head back um, to school to pick up Israel. So during this time, I usually like to make myself breakfast, kind of chill out, do some dishes if I need to do dishes, clean up the house, get some stuff for work done, all of that, and film like today. I am planning to film a little bit of a day in the life vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and start making myself some breakfast. I just had my breakfast and I wanted to share what I got for Cicely's birthday because she's going to be one in a couple weeks. I don't even know how this is possible, but I ordered her like a birthday hat thing from Etsy and I was expecting it to be way bigger than it is and it came in the mail yesterday. Look how tiny this little hat is. It is so cute though. It's like a little rainbow sprinkle with a one on it. So this is gonna be her hat for her birthday i have been wanting to order from this company called nothing fits but for a really long time they make dresses mommy and me dresses and they're so cute and i've been eyeing this specific print for a long time and i finally ordered because they were having a sale so this is going to be sicily's birthday outfit it is so cute and of course i got myself the matching dress as well so i'm going to be matching her wearing it with her so i just had to show you guys our little matching outfits for her birthday and we don't really have plans um we are going to leavenworth in a couple of weeks so we're gonna like celebrate with aiden's family and then on her actual birthday we'll do like a cake and presents and she'll wear this unfortunately just with the holidays and how close her birthday is to christmas it's hard to plan a party because we're seeing Aiden's family like a week and a half before Christmas. We're all going to Leavenworth. And then my family is coming into town for Christmas. So it's like, it just doesn't, it doesn't add up to like put her birthday smashed in between everything. No one would come to it. And plus it's just such a hard time like financially with Christmas already. Like planning a birthday party and feeding a bunch of people on top of already paying for Christmas and everything is just like too much. In the future, we'll figure things out when she's older and like recognizes that it's her birthday and stuff. But for her first birthday, we're just kind of keeping it low key. But yeah, I just wanted to share those with you. I have about 45-ish minutes before I go pick Israel up from school. So I'm gonna run around and do a little bit of cleaning.
did a quick little cleanup of the living room i noticed that when the toys are a mess my kids actually play with them less so i always make sure to try and tidy up to keep them like engaged in the activities that only took me like seven minutes or so so my little brother moved in with us back in like july and he bought my old car from me which is a ford fusion and it's a really good car we have snow tires on it and everything but we live up on a hill like the hill goes like this and we're like right in the middle of the hill so we're on a really steep incline and he just left to go to the store and he barely made it up the hill i stepped outside to check and make sure that he like actually made it he was literally full throttle trying to get up this hill and i step outside to make sure that he made it and his tires i could smell his tires literally burning how does that even happen with snow but it just makes me so thankful that we have a big car because i don't have those issues i definitely slip hi sissy hi stinky booty like i was saying i definitely slip but I don't struggle getting up the hill. Are you stinky? I think you're stinky. Okay, let me put her down. <laughs> Hi. Hi. She's a poopy girl. She's a poopy girl. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Hi. Please change your bottom. Okay. Take your sockies off. Take your sockies off. Okay. Ugh. Come on, sissy. Alrighty. So, Cicely and I are in the car. And we are about to head to go pick Israel up. It is so freezing today. Luckily, all of the main roads are really good. Well kept but they are still slick because of how cold it is so i leave extra early the neighborhood area that israel's school is in is terrible and i literally have to go like one mile an hour down the hill because there's a super steep hill we have to go down when we're leaving the school and it's terrifying to me because i have like ptsd from being in a car accident and people drive crazy and they just think they're invincible and they like ride my butt because I'm not going fast enough for them. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I'd rather go one mile an hour and not slip than do 20 and crash into someone. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and put a uh, podcast on and then get out of here. What did you do today? Ah, good. What did you do? I, 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 I sunshine. <gasps> you had sunshine soup? Yeah. Okay, let's see how warm your hands did. <gasps> They're so warm. Let me feel. Ooh. You stayed warm, huh? Let's feel my neck. Okay, let's feel your neck. <gasps> oh, and your face, you stayed so warm today. Take your boots. Now let's feel your toes. Okay, ready? <gasps> your toes stayed warm. There's both of them. Both of them. Okay, let's take your backpack off. And let's, and let's feel my back. You want to feel your back? Ready? Oh, it's always mom. It's right over there. Okay. As you can tell by Israel's face, he stayed nice and warm even though it was freezing cold today, huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. 
So I got Israel out of most of his layers, got them all buckled in, and we are going to head back home. Today was definitely the coldest day that we've had so far, and I was a little bit worried about Israel's face getting cold because yesterday when I picked him up, his face was bright red. But like all right here and right here, I'll post a picture so you guys can see. Um, but that's because he is a snow eater. He's obsessed with eating snow. So his face got super red from that. And today it does not look like he was eating a ton of snow because his face was totally fine and normal. His hands and feet were warm, which means all the rest of his body was warm. And he had a ton of fun. So we're gonna go ahead and head back home. All right, so we have been home for a little while now. We had some lunch and I'm about to get both of the kids down for their nap. As soon as Israel was done eating, he asked to go back outside. <laughs> he spent three and a half hours outside in the cold snow and came home and immediately wanted to go back outside. He was already a outdoor boy to begin with, but I feel like him being in outdoor school makes him like thrive even more outside. So I'm just letting him play out on the deck for a little bit before nap time. His face is all red because he's obsessed with eating snow and it's like 20 degrees outside. And Sicily keeps trying to go out there. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I am trying to find like a good middle ground when it comes to my video lengths because everyone says they like long videos but then i look at my watch time and nobody watches the entire video so i'm really trying to make them like a good shorter length i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already you guys are loved and we will see you in the next one bye guys